Because the thing is, is if you want to grow year over year over year and you want to leapfrog your competition, then you have to take advantage of the down moments in the market, the time that it affords you to build your database and take your business to the next level. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. Through that personal brand, so many people get to know who you are and they recognize you as a hard worker. Everybody loves a hard worker, right? And, and what is a hard worker? A hard worker is someone who works hard even when no one's looking. And it's like right now, when you're at the house, you can't go to the office, okay? You can't go to the office, but you're at the house. What am I doing? I'm making calls eight hours a day. I'm making calls eight hours a day right now, um, and I'm doing it when nobody is watching me. Nobody's standing here watching me make calls. Nobody's, nobody's telling me to do it. Okay, that's a hard worker. And people know when you're a hard worker. They can see it through your content on social media. They can see it in your actions. They can see it in your results. If you sell 100 properties a year for six going on seven years straight, people know you're a hard worker and they're drawn to you. Right? And it's not about the sales, because I know a lot of people don't have those kind of credentials. It's when you show up when you said you were going to show up. When you answer the phone every single time. You know, when, when, you, when you sent that email that you told them that you would send, you know, when you said you were going to send it. You know, th those are the kind of things that really add up. Little by little. It's the little things that add up to show them that you're not going to miss a step. Okay, so this is the kind of this is the kind of experience you want to give your clients. Okay, I also one of my core my core techniques. This is nuts and bolts. This is the foundation of my business. This is how I sell over 100 properties a year for the last six years, and it's literally a weekly email. I mean, it sounds so simple, but this weekly email is the core of my business, and it's literally why. People ask me, how do I get so much done? Because, you know, I became the first completely free real estate coach. I've got 30,000 members. I post content on all the platforms every day. I do that myself. I show every buyer. I go to every listing appointment. I do shows like this. I do podcasts. I do all kinds of different things. And everybody says, well, how do you do all that? And sell 100 properties every year. And the answer is literally a weekly email. Right, the weekly emails went out every single Wednesday since 2007. 2007, the weekly emails went out every single Wednesday, never missed a Wednesday, no matter what happens. I could be on vacation, changing companies, hurricanes, market crashes, it doesn't matter. Every Wednesday that, that email goes out. What does that do? That shows my clients how dependable, dependable I am how hardworking I am, how professional I am, how knowledgeable I am. It does all the heavy lifting for me with my clients and my entire database. Buyers I showed to that never bought five years ago that end up calling me seven years later saying, I've been getting your emails, I'm ready to buy now. Right? That, that's the kind of thing that happens and it keeps everyone connected so tight and the reason I like the email over social media, and I, I, think, I think the email should be the foundation and then stack social medias and direct mail and all the other things on top of the email. The email should be the beginning, the foundation of your business. It's because the, um, the organic reach is so high. You know, social media, you're looking at, you're looking at 1% to 25% organic reach, if you're lucky. Okay, um, you know, that's your followers that are following you. You know, 1% to 25% of those followers are going to see your content. With email, you're looking at like a 90% organic reach, right? A 90% organic reach. Not that they're all opening it, but they see it in their inbox, and that matters. <laughs> if they see it in their inbox for two years straight every Wednesday and, and then they become interested, they're going to start opening it then. It doesn't have to be an open rate, right? The impressions matter. The impressions matter in email. The impressions matter on social media. So anyway, I could go all day long about the importance of my weekly email and everything that it's done for my business. 
but I want to get back to, before I start taking some questions, I want to get back to what we're going through right this second, okay? We're at the pause period in the market. There are some transactions going on. I normally sell 30 properties every March. This March I sold two. April, I've got two under contract. So right now I'm at about two a month. We'll see what happens towards the tail end of April and we'll see what happens going into May. But so the market is not dead. However, it, it is it is extremely slow. Okay, so so what we have to do is to, to put all this into perspective and realize that we're only 30 to 60 days away from the market breaking loose. Which way is it going to go? We don't know. But if it goes down, okay, we're going to have investors come in. We're going to sell really good deals on properties. Okay, if it stays the same, that means we're pretty balanced, you know, between investors and first-time home buyers. You know that if the prices stay the same, that's for a reason because supply and demand are pretty equal. Okay, and if the prices go up, then that means you know there's a lot of demand and, and, and hardly any inventory, which inventory is low and interest rates are low, and that's actually a good thing for real estate. Um, that, that might even help us hold firm a little bit on prices and, and, and the market in general, but it's yet to be seen. The good thing is, is it doesn't matter. The top producers right now, the top producers are taking full advantage of this situation and they're calling as many people as they can call. Okay, they're calling past clients first and getting through that entire database and they're switching over to cold calling. They're calling circle prospecting, they're calling expires, they're calling old buyers, they're calling every single person they can possibly call because they know that right now is the moment in time where you build your database. You don't have time to build your database when things are, are moving and grooving and sales are really going great. You don't have time to do it then. So you have to turn around and you have to do it when the market is down. This goes also for when the market slows down during the year. Like in the winter time, in the winter time when it slows down, if the winter time slows down in your in your particular market, or maybe the summer time's your slow time, whenever that slow time is, switch your business and get right on the phone. Get right on the phone. Take that opportunity to get right on the phone. Don't go to Halloween parties and Thanksgiving parties and slack off and say, oh, I hit my quota this year. Because the thing is, is if you want to grow year over year over year and you want to leapfrog your competition, then you have to take advantage of the down moments in the market, the time that it affords you to build your database and take your business to the next level. See, right now is when you can literally leapfrog the highest producers in your market. You can leapfrog the entire market and be the number one agent within the next year if you take a full advantage of the situation that's right in front of you. Or you can be like most of the agents and you can use this as an excuse to just lay low. You know, that, that's what a lot of agents are doing right now. I found I'm getting a lot of messages about, Ricky, you know, we can't show property. We can't do this and we can't do that. I'm gonna tell you right now, there's nothing that I'm more tired of hearing about than what you guys can't do. If, if somebody else tells me what they can't do, then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go crazy on them, right? Because I don't care what you can't do. I'm only concerned right now at, at, at any moment with what we can do. Right? I want to know what we can do and I want to go all in with the most the highest productive activity that I can do. That's what I'm going all in on. And I'm not really gonna deviate. I'm not gonna try to do a ton of things at once. If you watch my career, if you go back through, you'll notice that I, I, I really harp and I really stay really consistent and firm on one thing at a time until I feel like I've really got to a really safe place in terms of momentum. Okay, I got in the business, I made a million, then I lost it. Okay, after that, I came back in the business and I built the business back. I got to where I was selling 100 properties a year. Okay, still at that point, I haven't tried coaching. I haven't tried to write a book. I haven't tried to do anything yet. Okay, then I go three years at 100, 100 sales per year before I write a book. You see, I really harp on one thing and really hit it hard for a long time before I start trying to do other things. Same thing in my real estate business. Right? I feel like the most efficient thing that you can do, if you don't have a database or you're done calling your past clients, the most efficient thing you can do is circle prospect. 
Circle Prospect, you can get you can get contact information for two cents a piece. It's the best leads money can buy. They already own the exact property you want to sell. They already are, they already own not even the, the type of property, but the exact house that you want to sell. <laughs> They, they own it in the location you want it. It's the exact client that you want for two cents. And you call them and make friends with them. See what you can do to help them. Let them know you're here for them if they want to do something now or later. And through this, you're going to find so many people that want to do deals now, but you're going to find even more people that you're going to build a connection with that do deals later. And when this thing snowballs, when you do it like I'm doing it, and you call property owners and create friendships with them and put them in your weekly email database, and you let that thing snowball, once you get that up to a good five to 10,000 emails, you're done making cold calls and you're gonna sell 50 to 100 properties every year just on your database. Past clients, referrals and referrals of referrals, right? Closings happen every single day. Okay, I don't want you guys to, to worry about what's gonna happen to real estate if you're worried about this moment in time. I don't want you to worry about you know, if you know if if technology or Zillow or somebody is going to take us over, it's just not going to happen. Okay, and as the market does change, because things will change, our job is to adapt with whatever it is and take full advantage and go as hard as we can go.